question number 22 that is 2014 mathematics paper 2 we are told in the figure below OA is equals to A and OB is equals to B uh, M is a midpoint of OA and AN into NB is equals 2 is to 1 uh, so from the information given we already have A and B that is OA and OB we are told that M is a midpoint of OA so we can write the ratio there is 1 is to 1 then we are given the ratio of AN to NB AN to NB so we have it is 2 and this is 1 important to indicate that information to be able to help you uh, so when it comes to <coughs> answering the question we are told express in terms of a and b uh, b a uh, so when you are told to do that you are it you describe the movement from b to a so you can pass through uh, you can pass from o from b uh, o and then you go to a so that is a uh, so we can be able to express that in terms of a and b when you move from b to o you are moving against the vector b so we say that is equals to minus b uh, from o to a is a so plus a which we can write it is a minus b it is a minus b that is how you describe b a in terms of a and b we go to b n uh, b n is a fraction of b a uh, so we say b n from b to n it is one out of three parts of uh, b a and what is our b a it is equals to uh, our b a we have already described in uh, part one, roman number one so we say it is a that and then we say into bracket a minus b so that is how you describe uh, a b n then we come to o n o n uh, we are told o n is equals to we can to move from o to n it is the same as moving from o to b then to uh, b to n uh, so we say this is equals to o n we can say o n is equals to uh, b uh, then we say plus a third uh, b a we uh, a third that is uh, b n which we have described in uh, roman number two that is a minus b so that is how you can simplify that and say this is equals to uh, you open the bracket you say it is b uh, plus a third a and then we say uh, minus a third b which uh, i will do it here down here uh, that is uh, you can put the right terms together and you end up with uh, a third a and then we have a uh, plus two b minus a third will be two thirds uh, of uh, b so that is how you 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 work out that so we move to part part b of this question we are told given that bx is equals to hbm and ox is equals to kon determine the values of h and k so if we are given bx is equals to uh, h uh, bm uh, we can be able to write that as uh, h uh, from b to m we can move minus b plus a half a so we can write it as a half a minus b and we use that to indicate that is a vector <coughs> we have also been given that uh, ox is equals to k o n uh, and we already have o n which we have uh, we have here uh, so we can write this ox is equals to k uh, then we write it is a a third a plus 2 over 3 b uh, so that is that uh, so which we can uh, open the bracket and write it is a uh, a third k a we use that to differentiate between a constant and a vector so plus a uh, two over three uh, k b so that is how you write ox 
Uh, so you note that uh, we can still write OX in terms of uh, uh, OB and BX. So we can still write OX uh, is equals to, uh, we write it is, uh, it is B uh, plus our BN, that is uh, BX. We already have BX, which is uh, H into bracket. Already we have expressed that a half a minus b so that is uh, our ox which when you simplify uh you'll be able to get this is equals to uh a half h a and then uh, we have a uh, plus one minus uh h into bracket uh, we have uh, that is b that's our vector b so we have managed to express ox in two ways uh, so what remains is to equate the two. Uh, so you equate the two and you'll be able to say uh, since we already have uh, a third, uh, that is a third, that is a, a third ka, uh, that's a vector, uh, plus uh, two over three kb, that is ox that we have expressed the first time. Uh, it is the same as the second time we have half a, a half a, uh, then you have a plus uh, one minus h, and this is vector b. Uh, this is vector b. Uh, so since the two vectors are equal, uh, we can say the coefficient, the constant of a on this side is the same as the constant of a. Uh, I think here we have a half h. A constant on the other side so we can say a third uh, k is equals to a half uh, h which we can write uh, then k is equals to uh, a, a 3 over 2 h so we have expressed k in terms of h we also have the the, the constant for b so we say 2 over 2 over 3 uh, then we have uh, uh, that is k is equals to uh, 1 minus h uh, which we can also now we can sub since we have already obtained our k we can come here uh, we can substitute k uh, on the that is a uh, k on the, in this expression so that we have a half h so let me get some space here to work on that so here uh, we can write uh, this is a uh, these are 2 over 3. Instead of uh, k there, we now write, uh, uh, we don't need that bracket. Uh, we now write, we multiply. Let me use a, let me use a, let me use a dot to imply multiplication. We multiply by 3 over 2, uh, that is uh, h, is equals to uh, 1 minus h. Uh, so here you can simplify it by 3, divide by 3, you get it is 1, by 2 you get it is 1. So we end up with h is equals to 1 minus h. We bring this h to this side. So you have uh, 2h is equals to 1, implying that uh, h is equals to uh, 1 over 2. You divide both sides by 2. So once you get h is equals to 1 over 2, we can be able to get our k. Our k is equals to uh, 3 over 2 of h. So we substitute that and we get k is equals to uh, 3 over 2, you multiply by uh, a half, which you get it is equals to uh, 3 out of 4. So that is how you get h and uh, k. So our k is our k is 3 over 4, our h is a half. So that's how you work out that question uh, and you get yourself 10 marks.